using Zoom again to get to Los Angeles to catch up with Natalie Sadie. Natalie, welcome. It's another week and uh, I noticed that the Speaker of the House, the one and only Nancy Pelosi, has got herself into some serious strife. Get, give us an idea of what's happened. Okay, so Nancy Pelosi has really gotten herself in trouble and it really has just kept getting worse for her. So um, for those that aren't really sure about how powerful Nancy Pelosi is, she is one of the, or she is, sorry, the most powerful elected Democrat being Speaker of the House. So Fox News on uh, Monday sparked controversy when they aired uh, video footage of Pelosi inside a hair salon in the Bay Area, so up in San Francisco, and she's not wearing a mask. Instead, the mask is around her neck. In the video, you can see the stylist she's working with walking behind her and he's very clearly wearing a mask. So the reason this is an issue is this has happened at a time when outdoor haircuts were allowed in California, but indoor salons remain shut. So a spokesperson for Pelosi has come out and said she did not realise she was breaking the rules in her home city. Sorry, sorry, hang on a minute. Are you saying that the Speaker of the House didn't know she was breaking the rules? Uh, She does speak English, not American, or she speaks American and not English. Oh, by the way, I love the way the Americans have called a blow dry a blow out. Correct. So wow. you go for a blow out. Wow. Yep. I, I, I think this is a blow out, the story. But but what a, what an amazing thing. She's gone for a blow dry, hasn't she? Yeah. Correct. She's, she's gone for a blow dry. So they've washed her hair. Um, again, all happening inside the salon, which is something that is specifically not allowed. So her people have also come out and said that this business offered for the speaker to come in on Monday. They told her they were allowed by the city to have one customer at a time in the business and that the speaker complied with the rules as presented to her by the establishment. Now, the big issue here is that Pelosi, who always wears a mask in public, often admonishes Republicans to listen to the signs of the pandemic. And she has said in interviews on CNN, if you want to stop the spread of the virus, you need to wear a mask. And on MSNBC yesterday, she told the network that Mr. Trump had slapped science right in the face last week by allowing an audience of mainly maskless invitees on the White House lawn to watch his speech to the Republican convention. So the salon owner, Erica Kios, told Fox News that she rents a chair to the stylist who notified her that Mrs. Pelosi's assistant had called saying her boss wanted to come in for a wash and a blow dry. She went on to say it's a slap in the face that uh, Pelosi went in, you know, that she feels she can just go in and get her stuff done while not, sorry, while no one else can go in and I can't work. So Senate Republicans have obviously jumped on this and they have suggested that Pelosi is a hypocrite and have tweeted, Speaker Pelosi has pushed policies that would keep our economy closed and small businesses shut down, but herself, a salon visit whenever she pleases. The Speaker has previously said that Republicans could help create conditions to safely reopen if they would only listen to the scientists. She has also repeatedly criticised President Trump's decision to rarely wear a mask by calling him a coward and saying real men wear masks. <laughs> Trump, yeah. Yeah, so it, just Trump, gets, it just gets messier and messier and messier. And it's not over yet. What, so what, 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 what next? Okay, so Trump in Trump style has tweeted and he wrote crazy Nancy Pelosi is being decimated for having a beauty parlor opened when all others are closed and for not wearing a mask. Despite constantly lecturing everyone else, we will almost certainly take back the house and send Nancy packing. And he has also praised the salon owner for turning her in. 
So Pelosi did respond to criticism while at an event about schools reopening in San Francisco's Snow Valley, saying, I take responsibility for trusting the word of the neighbourhood salon that I've been to over the years many times when they said they were able to accommodate people one person at a time. It was a setup and I take responsibility for falling for a setup. And that's all I'm going to say on that. She then went on to say that she thinks that the salon owes her an apology for setting her up. Wow. Just gets yes. murkier and murkier and murkier. It really does. And now the owner of the salon is reportedly being forced to shut down and relocate her business and her family due to outrage and threats that she's receiving. Somebody has set up a GoFundMe page uh, to help her do that. And the house judiciary GOP Twitter account said in response that Pelosi should take responsibility for her actions instead of blaming others, asserting that she doesn't actually care about working class Americans. Now, just before we came on air, I was actually watching some videos of Pelosi criticizing President Trump for not taking responsibility for his actions. So this really is Quite an incredible story. The one thing that it isn't is he said, she said, because no. you can clearly see what's happened and you can clearly yes. see her going about getting her hair dry um, with no care in the world, as if there was no, no COVID uh, pandemic to concern ourselves with. And uh, I do what I'm told, uh, uh, but I'm, I'm also doing whatever I feel like is perfectly normal in a, in a salon. So Pelosi has really set herself up for, for a fall and uh, that's what you've been watching. Correct. And look, commentators are saying that this really won't have an effect on the election or the outcome at all. But the reality is Republicans are not going to let this go. The fact that she's harming off responsibility and trying to deflect and blame other people. Um, it's really not a good look. The other thing is, as is happening in Australia, small businesses are really struggling. We've been locked down since March, all of California, and it's a big battle. And to watch somebody who is still making money, who's still working, who really doesn't have a care in terms of survival, yeah. going about their life and getting all the things that they need and want when so many are struggling, it really is quite offensive. And then it was interesting that this morning it was announced um, that in LA County, hair salons and barbershops will be able to open inside at 25% capacity. It's not, it's obviously not the Bay Area that we're talking about, but things are starting to happen, but the timing is interesting. Yes, very interesting. And uh, it's, it, it, the, the word interesting we will hear time and time again as each and every day of this uh, impending uh, uh, presidential election gets closer. Correct. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, George. All the very, very best. And um, who does your hair again? This is um, Hair by Natalie. Hair by Natalie. And uh, when you go for a blow dry, you know how to do the job properly. Do I you, absolutely do. You mask, do, you, do you mask up when you do your hair? Well, not when I'm on my own, but what I will say is a girlfriend of mine, uh, Selena Boone, who is amazing here in the LA area, she cuts my hair and when she does, we both do wear masks. Fantastic. Natalie Sadie, thank you for joining us. Catch you next week. Thanks, George. See you then. Bye-bye.